I mean, for me, starting out, you know, GA was in our family, it was in our blood. My dad was the chairman of our local GA uh, team. My uncle took the training. You know, we started out at under 10, under 12. I'm looking at these kids that are out in the pitch here today and it just brings back all these memories. And to be lucky enough to actually make the minor team in 1987, I played minor for three years. So I was 16, I was only 16 when I made the, uh, the minor team in 87. My brother was on that team with me. Uh, we got to the All-Ireland Final. We ran out here, it was completely different. I'm looking out at a completely different Croke Park. The dugouts were over there on the Cusick side. You used to have to run out here. I mean, we actually drove to the All-Ireland Final. I mean, we parked in the college. We walked into the ground. It was, it was completely different uh, at that time. Now, I was a sub on the team in 87. That's why we won. I want to make that very clear. I played in 88 and I played in 89. We won nothing in both those years. So, uh, so my memories are very much uh, exactly what I'm doing today. This is why I'm so comfortable sit, sitting in Crow Park, because that's exactly what I did in 87 as well. I mean, for me, you know, every day we were playing GA, like you'd come home from school. I used to cut the, the football pitch in Dundrum. Like that was my job. I was the secretary of the football club whenever I was 14. I ended up on the down youth board, bizarrely, because there was nobody else to finish the, to do the job whenever I was 15. I went to Congress whenever I was 16. I gave a speech in Congress in Wexford. I mean, there was all these different things. We played football at school. Uh, uh, Jarlith Carey, who was... Um, he was one of the great down players, played in 1661. He was our schoolmaster. Whenever we went to St. Pat's Grammar and down Patrick, Pat O'Hare, he went on to train the down team in 94. Pat's dead now, God rest him. And, you know, every day, if you weren't in a class in school, you had your boots on. It was just, looking back on it, it was, it was relentless. Best days of my life. I think the further you travel and the further you go, the more you actually, and the older you get, let, let's be clear, the older you get, you really do want to keep up with, with bits of home. And it used to be it used to be quite difficult to do that. And now in London, you can get the games on Sky whenever we're there. I've got the GA Go app whenever I'm in LA, so I can flick that onto the Apple TV and settle myself in. The only problem is that you're actually ended up watching games a bit too early. That's the only thing, because normally you'd want to have a pint and the games start at seven o'clock in the morning whenever you're in LA. I mean, even I can't get that past the wife. Like, here, you couldn't get me my breakfast. I'm just sort of cracking open a can again to watch, to watch the game. But yeah, I, I, I do follow it as, as, as much as I can. And uh, maybe, maybe a down team might get, get back to Crow Park sometime in the next 10 years. And then I can actually bring the family over and we can maybe do it and have a look at it.